we are excited to be part of the What's in Your Toolbox, which is sort of all started with Keith Fenner, and a number of us that produce videos on YouTube are making individual parts for projects. This one here is a traditional toolmaker's vise, and we are going to make a spherical washer that uh, is part of that product. So we're going to read the drawing from the Draw and Create CAD, use the Tormach CNC lathe to cut the part itself, and then I think we're actually going to use the surface grinder to get it down to size. Welcome to another Wednesday widget, folks. Oh, and we've got a little surprise at the end. Here's our print. The first thing to notice, all the dimensions on this one are two decimal places. If we take a look at the tolerances, we see that two decimal places means everything is plus or minus 10,000. So pretty easy on the tolerances here. Relatively simple part. A couple things to note. 0.34 drill. A letter R is 0.339, so that's one thou. Plenty good. 0.73 OD, and there's a little uh, 0.12 inch flat shoulder, and then there's a radius here of 0.75, and the overall part is 0.38. So let's make sense of that in CAD. So new part in SolidWorks sketch on the front plane, and what we're going to do is first create a line that's the height of the part, so 0.38 inches. Then we're going to create the center hole, which we know is 0.34. So I'm going to do half the part, and then we're going to revolve it. So 0.17 over. Make sure we're square on it. looks better. Same thing down here. And now, all these are going to actually be construction geometry. So click them all for construction. Boom. Now, you may disagree with how I'm doing it, but I'm just doing it how I do it. Um, now we'll create a solid line here. And then another one over here. Now, we know that this point to this point is 0.75, sorry, 73 divided by 2, the overall uh, diameter of the part itself. And then we've got a square shoulder that comes down 0.12 here. And then the last thing is simply a three-point arc that joins these two together. And the radius on that was 0.75. That's it. Pretty simple, right? Um, and because we created this construction geometry, I feel more confident in the part, and it makes it quite easy now as we revolve. We will take our extra resolution, click OK, and voila. I goofed on one thing, and it's a good catch. Uh, radius versus diameter, it didn't quite look right anyway. Radius is, um, the diameter's point 0.75, so radius point 0.375. There we go. That looks correct. Let's hop into Sprout Cam for our turning. I already got the part in here, already created it. Uh, we did a more thorough lathe tutorial that you can click on here if you want to watch it. Facing, straightforward. Contouring, all you do is select the two faces and choose, in this instance, roughing. And then what we're doing is, uh, actually real quick on the settings, 250 surface feet a minute and 7,000 feed per rev cut. So pretty conservative. I'm going to try to run this without coolant so that it looks better on the video. What we also did was reduce the step from, I think it defaults to like 20 thou to uh, only 8 thou. So you see you get a lot more fine little lines here. And right here on the first little properties tab, we're leaving 4 thou of stock so that we can come through here on a dedicated finish pass. The way we did that, same contouring operation that you go to here, lathe contouring, when you select your two pieces of geometry, instead of choosing roughing, choose profile, and then it doesn't create the roughing ops, it just traces the profile. The reason we're doing that is we can then choose a slower surface feed per minute and a finer uh, cut feed to hopefully give it a nice surface finish. I'm actually going to do the drilling and parting in the Tormach conversational. Maybe you think that's weird, but it's how I use the machine. I do some stuff in CAM, I do some stuff in the conversational right now. All right, here we go. Material is 4140, facing up. Again, no coolant. We'll see if that affects it. Worst case, I make another one with coolant that we actually send out. If anything, I think it'll probably be harder on the insert. Um, that first pass is a little rough. These are looking uh, fine. It's such a small chip. You can actually just barely see it turning color which is great. That means the heat is going into that little chip, which is good to be determined how much heat's in the workpiece. Um, these are really, really small. 
passes though, but uh, obviously not a really a problem given that the part doesn't take much time to make here. And it is going to take one finish pass here, um, but that's still leaving, I think, about five or eight thou. I think service finish looks pretty darn good. And here comes the finish pass. Barely taking anything. That's okay. All right, Path Pilot Conversational. We're going to first drill and tap. Tool 10 for me is a spot drill. We're going to just go down to, let's say, negative 0 0.07 for that. And post a file. I call it temp. Drill number nine, these are both gang tools, by the way, is my actual drill. We're going to drill that down to negative point uh, five, five. Make sure we get all the way through. And we'll peck that at point oh five. Oops, peck is the positive value. We'll do it at 700 RPM, append to file. And then we will part it, groove or part on tool three. We'll part it back at negative 0.39, so yeah, that's well, fine, at 200 service feet a minute with um, our thinner parting tool, append to file, temp. There we go. All right, here we go, spotting. I actually did increase this, sorry, to uh, I think about 0.18. I forgot that I'm not using a 90 degree mill drill to spot, but rather a quote unquote spot drill. You wanna go a little deeper. And here we go. Oop, hold on. Fix the coolant. I definitely want coolant on the drill just to clear the chips, and it does just drill a lot better. Well, we're going to do something a little different. We haven't parted it off yet, but we're going to take it out um, because we're only parting it off at a, raw, a rough dimension anyway. And while I've got it on this nice stick, we're going to go polish that on the scotch Bright wheel. Look at that. Beautiful. So here's our little part. I measured it. We're about 0.4. So we want to take about 20 thou off grinding it. So how do you grind it? something like this? Well, some of you guys may not like this, but I think it'll work okay. Um, First of all, we do have a true face down there, as thin as it is, so that will keep it um, straight. And then we're just going to use some gauge blocks to support it on all four sides. And the trick is to sort of get the gauge blocks touching it, but not lifting it up. They've got plenty of meat to grab into the magnet, and you know, you just be safe. You stay clear, and if it throws the part, it'll probably ruin it, but as long as you don't get hurt, that's the uh, most important thing. All right, part part is done. Let's go see if Keith's home. Okay, 
inside. My wife's family is actually from up here, so it's perfect. So let's, uh, let's uh, head on down the road here and see if we can uh, get her done. Machine works, here we are. Hey, how are you? Pretty good. Good to see it. Hey, likewise. Hold well, on. Good to be good. here. Here we got the what's in your toolbox hemispherical nut for the toolmaker's vice. Awesome, awesome. So we'll get the rest of it put together and I'm sure we'll end up back here in the shop after it gets heat treated. Oh well, yeah, that'd be great. Cool. That'd be great, yeah. And uh Tell me a little bit about making that. We used a combination of computer cam for the th uh, um, hemispherical yep. part, and then we used a conversational on the Tormach PC and C lathe, and then we reamed out the center hole. It's still got a little bit of a drill mark in there, and then just gave it a quick polish on the Scotch Brite, and we'll see. It's 4140, so we'll see if she moves uh, when she gets heat treated or not. I don't okay. know. What do you think? Uh, yeah, yeah. No, it it it, it should hold itself. Um, what about the finish on it after it's heat treated? Does that get uh, uh, colorized or? Uh, you wouldn't look no better yeah. than I would. Yeah. Well, you, some of them might. It might. It might have a little bit of a blackish color to it. Yeah. We'll yeah. see. It'll yeah. be a fun project. So. Yeah. Thanks for having cool. me here at the shop. All righty. Thank you. No, I appreciate Keith's hospitality there. Really cool to be able to swing by and see his shop. And really, more importantly, thank you to Keith for all the work he does and everyone on the. Um, YouTube machining Facebook page and everyone who helps make this project uh, a success there's a lot of planning and organization and if you obviously I mean I I would tell you to go check out Keith's channel if you haven't already but I, I don't know that it's possible that someone watches my channel and doesn't watch Keith's anyways with that folks hope you enjoyed today's Wednesday widget take care see you soon